Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review. Make sure it is the third edition that you have. We are right now on page number four. We are on page number four. The topic that we're dealing with is basic multiplication. In order for us to do our multiplication efficiently, we must know our timetables by heart. If you do not know your timetables one through twelve, and if you need to work on it, work on them. If you need help with memorizing the timetables. On my channel, you will find a series called Basic Math, right here, Basic Math. On day number 1 through 12, we learned our timetables. I would like you to watch those videos, day 1 through 12, and learn. It will help you, it will help you memorize the timetable, as I said. It will help, it will show you an efficient, easier way to learn your timetables. Let's do page number 4 is where we are. The first problem that we have is 23. 23 times 5. Well, 23 times 5, you can do it out. It's a very simple problem. It doesn't take that long. But I want you to I want you to learn to think logically. Look at the problems intuitively. Don't just look at them as a nerdy, geeky, freakish way. Look at look at them intuitively. We know 23. We know 23 times 10 would simply would have been 230. 230 represents 23 times 10. It's not 23 times 10, it's 23 times 5. So it's just going to be half the amount. It's just going to be half the amount. If you divide 230 by 2, if you take half of that, that's the answer here. How many 2's does 2 have? 2 has 1 2. How many 2's does 3 have? 3 has 1 2 as well. The remaining one goes and joins a 0 and becomes 10. One more time, the remaining one goes and joins a 0 and becomes 10. And 10 has 5 2's. There you go, that should be our answer. 115 should be our answer. Now, if you did not know what you what I just did here, if you have trouble understanding this uh, this this method of division, as I said, start watching the basic math. There are 200 videos there. You don't have to watch all 200 of them. Even if you watch the first 100 videos, that should be more than enough. We can choose the topic. All topics that I covered in the basic math series, they are not all on your exam on HESI. We can choose the topic. Learn the division method, learn multiplication addition, percentages, ratio proportions, the topics that you will encounter in your exam. If you come across a topic that does not appear, just ignore those videos. Watch that series and you will learn how to divide efficiently. Let's do it out. 3 plus 3 times 5 is 15. 3 fives are 15. 5 carry 1. 2 fives are 10 plus 1 is 10 plus 1 is 11. 115, just as, just as we said. Number 2. Problem number. Six hundred and twenty three times forty five. Again, before we do our work, let's estimate it. This is the estimation from yesterday's work. Let's estimate it before we do any work. It's always a good idea to have some estimation in your mind. You can save yourself a great deal of time if you can simply recognize one of the four answer choices that comes closest to what your estimate was. You don't, have to, you don't actually have to do out the entire problem every single time. It's not necessary. Understand the logic. 623, 623, if you were to multiply it by 100, what you suppose the answer is going to be 623 times 100. 623 times 100 is simply going to be your 623 that you started out with. And since you're multiplying it by 100, you're going to stick two zeros at the end. You with me so far? We're not multiplying it by 100, we're multiplying by 45. 45 is not close to 100, but 45 is very close to 50. So if this represents, if 62,000, if 62,300, if 62,300 represents 100, 623, then 50, 623 would be half of that amount. Let's find out what half of that amount is. 62,300, if you were to divide by 2, 6 has 3, three twos, 2 has 1 twos, this 3 has 1 2, 
The remaining one goes and joins the 0 becomes 10 and 10 is going to have 5 2's and then 0 has no 2's which makes perfect sense because half of 62,000 is 31,000 and half of 300 is 150. The correct answer is going to be around 31,000. The question is, is that an overestimation or underestimation? What we just did here is going to be an overestimation because this represents 50. This represents 50 times 623. We don't have 50 of them. We only have 400. We only have 45 of them. So the correct answer, what it's going to be, is going to be slightly under 31,000. It's going to be slightly under 31,000 because we don't have 50 of them. We have only 45 of them. So you can have to take away 5, 623. 600 times 5, 600 times 5 is 3,000. So it can be around 28,000, 29,000, somewhere there. Let's do it out, shall we? Around 28,000, I would say, because you're going to take away 3,000 from it. 3, 31,000 minus 3,000 is around 28,000. Let's do it out. 5 3 is a 15, plus a 5, carry 1. 2 5 is a 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, carry 1. 6 5 is a, six five is a 30, 30 plus 1 is 31. We're done with that part. Now we move on to the 10 digit. 4 is a 10 digit, so we have to hold the unit digit. 4 3 is a 12, 3, carry 1. Cross it out and put new one here. Remind yourself that's a new round. 4 2 is a 8, plus 1 is 9. There is nothing to carry. And two, six fours are twenty-four. You get a five here. You get a four here. Nine plus one is ten, so that's a zero. Carry one. Three plus one is four. Four plus four is eight. What do you know? Twenty-eight thousand is exactly what we have said. We were going to get about something under thirty-one thousand, and there is going to be only one answer choice among the four that is going to be something little under 31,000 because the answer choices that they give you in most cases they're quite far apart you don't have to actually you don't actually have to do it out do out the entire problem let's do the next one shall we number problem number three problem number three just give me one brief second problem number three says This is from yesterday. It says that you must know, you must know your millions, your billions, and your trillions. Know in the sense that you must know how to recognize them, how to write them, and what they represent conceptually. How many thousand does a million have? How many thousands does a billion have? How many millions does a billion have? Trillion is made up of how many billions? You should know this. And if you don't know this concept, if you don't know these concepts, watch day number 22 in the series of basic math. Next one. 301. 301 times 451. 301 times 451. Let's do it here. We're going to pretend that 301 is 300. And we're going to pretend that 451 is 450 just to get the approximate idea. Do you understand? The rest is very simple, very straightforward. All we have to do is multiply 3 by 45. Let's do it here. 45 times 3, you see, 45 times 3, and once we have 45 times 3, we're just going to stick three zeros, 1, 2, and 3. Just stick the three zeros at the end, and we are done. That's it. That's all there is. 5 threes are 15, 5 carry 1, 4 threes are 12, plus 1 is 13, and then three zeros. The the correct answer is going to be approximately 135,000. Let's find out. Let's find out if our estimation is an underestimation or if it is an overestimation. Let's find out, shall we? Well, we pretended that 301 was 300. Well, that's an, we, we are using 300. The exact number is 301. That's an underestimation. It's 451 is what we are given here. We are using 450. So this is an underestimation that tells us that the correct answer, whatever it is, the correct answer, whatever it is, is going to be this this amount that you see, 135,000, is actually an underestimation. The positive sign on the top tells us that the correct answer is going to be something more than that. The correct answer, whatever it is, is going to be slightly more than 135,000. Let's find out, shall we? Multiply by 1, that's very simple. If you multiply by 1, we're going to get 301. I don't know why I'm holding the unit digit. I'm not paying attention. 1 times 301 is just 301. You hold the unit digit, 
Now we move on to five. Five ones are five. Five zeros are going to be zeros. And three fives are 15. Now we move on to the hundred digit. We move on to the hundred digit. So we have to hold the unit digit and the ten digit because four is a hundred digit. Four ones are four. Four zeros are zeros. And four threes are twelve. Let's see what we get, shall we? Here we get a one. Here we get a five. Three plus four is seven. And here we get a five. Two plus one is three. And a one. So it turns out that we got 135,000 and we had already said that the correct answer, whatever it is, it can be slightly more than 135,000 because 135,000 was an underestimation and therefore the right answer is going to be slightly over 135,000 and I guarantee you among the four answer choices that they give you, there is only going to be one answer choice that is going to be slightly more than 135,000. We really didn't have to do any of this work, all of this work that you see on the blackboard and the re had it been a real exam, that would have been a damn silly thing to do because it was a sheer waste of time. Bye now.